WestMed, Incorporated, established in 1992, manufactures a complete line of respiratory therapy, critical care, and anesthesia products for hospital, alternative care, and international markets worldwide. WestMed, a leader in pulmonary medication delivery, introduced the original circular aerosol drug delivery system to the respiratory therapy market in 1997. In 2007, the Circular 2 was developed and featured two main design improvements. One, the thick vinyl bag of the original Circular was replaced with a thin polyethylene reservoir bag that inflates and deflates more readily. And two, the center post one-way valve was replaced with a top-hinged low-mass one-way flapper valve that is instantly responsive to the patient's inspiratory effort and does not strip out any of the aerosol particles. These two design changes have significantly improved the aerosol delivery performance of the Circular. This video presents the Circular 2 High Efficiency Aerosol Drug Delivery System in three sections. One, description and clinical application. Two, supporting studies and bibliography. And three, user training. You may select to view any or all of these sections from the video menu. At the end of each section, you will be returned to this menu. In 2007, the improved Circular 2 was introduced and featured significant improvements in the one-way flapper valve and the thin film reservoir bag. The Circular 2 High Efficiency Pulmonary Drug Delivery System represents the epitome of aerosol delivery systems due to the utilization of the conserver principle that enables the device to deliver greater than twice the aerosol drug mass delivery of conventional nebulizers, including T-type nebulizers, breath-actuated and breath-enhanced devices. Let's look more closely at how the Circular operates. This is a three-dimensional computer-generated animation of the Circular 2 that will allow you to follow the gas and aerosol pathways during the patient's expiratory and inspiratory phases. We'll start the animation with the beginning of exhalation. As the patient exhales against the flapper valve, holding it closed, exhaled gas is deflected to the room through the expiratory filter and the variable expiratory resistor. Meanwhile, the nebulizer runs continuously, filling the 550 milliliter reservoir bag with aerosol until the patient initiates the next inspiration. As soon as the patient initiates inspiration, the flapper valve pops open immediately and the distended reservoir bag begins to deflate as the patient inhales from the nebulizer and the reservoir bag simultaneously. Consequently, the patient receives much more aerosol than the nebulizer alone would be able to provide. The patient is essentially inhaling aerosol from two sources rather than just one, the nebulizer and the aerosol stored in the reservoir bag. After inspiration is complete, the patient begins to exhale, the flapper valve closes, and the reservoir bag begins to refill with fresh aerosol as the patient exhales. And the cycle repeats. What is it about the Circular 2 that makes it the best delivery system currently available in the small volume medication nebulizer market? Let's take a look at some of the features and benefits of the Circular. First, the Circular 2 is a dosimetric system that uses the conserver principle for aerosol delivery systems so that it does not waste medication. A 550 milliliter thin film reservoir bag acts as a highly efficient conserver to store fresh aerosol generated during exhalation. Second, the Circular 2 has a higher rate of aerosol drug delivery than other nebulizers owing to the beneficial effect of the reservoir or conserver. This is what allows it to outperform other types of devices and deliver aerosol drug in a shorter amount of time, typically four minutes for most medications. For bronchodilators, there is no need to use concentrated albuterol. Third, the Circular has a mass median aerodynamic diameter, or MMAD, of 2.7 microns. The MMAD, therefore, is right in the middle of the optimum range for particle size distribution for a wide range of aerosol medications. 
The respirable mass, also known as fine particle fraction, or percentage of particles below 5 microns in size, is 82%, which is among the highest of small volume medication nebulizers. Fourth, compared to other nebulizers that deliberately draw in room air, the Circular 2 is a quasi-closed system that only draws in room air during very large tidal volumes. As a result of limiting room air entrainment, aerosol density is not diluted by room air, and this contributes to the greater rate of drug delivery. Fifth, the circular is supplied with an integral expiratory filter because Westmed believes that practitioners who administer aerosol drug therapy should be protected from inhaling medications intended for patients as well as being protected from inhaling any droplets that may be exhaled or coughed out by patients. Sixth, an adult and a pediatric mask are available for the circular. These masks are portless or non-vented, that is, they do not have the conventional holes in their side for exhalation. This allows them to maintain the quasi-closed system of the circular and direct exhalation through the expiratory filter and variable expiratory resistor. An optional PEP manometer is also available for measuring PEP levels and providing visual feedback to the patient. As a result of the increase in aerosol drug density with each breath, the Circular 2 is indicated for routine and rescue aerosol bronchodilator treatments for asthmatics and patients with COPD and other reactive airways diseases, plus delivery of inhaled steroids, mucolytics, and wetting agents. The Circular 2 is exceptionally well suited for delivery of aerosolized antimicrobials in diseases with lung infection, such as cystic fibrosis and bronchiectasis, as well as pentamidine for suppression of pneumocystis carinae during cancer chemotherapy or post bone marrow transplant. The Circular 2 can provide nominal dose delivery in approximately four minutes, making it possible for respiratory care departments to increase the efficiency and productivity through time savings and reduce costs for the hospital by improving patient outcomes. WestMed believes that healthcare professionals who use the Circular for aerosol delivery should be protected from breathing aerosol drug particles and exhaled patient droplets. Therefore, the standard circular is supplied with an expiratory filter. The circular is also equipped with a variable expiratory resistor that can be used to provide positive expiratory pressure, or PEP, during an aerosol treatment in order to splint the airways open and improve distribution and deposition of inspired aerosol and facilitate expectoration of secretions. The circular disposable pressure manometer can be used to measure the amount of PEP applied and to provide visual feedback to the patient. Thank you for watching this short introduction to the WestMed Circular 2 High Efficiency Pulmonary Drug Delivery System. You may now go on to Section 2 or choose another section from the video menu. Section 2 highlights data from some of the performance and comparison studies that have been conducted with the circular by various investigators. Section 3 features a video demonstration of a treatment with the circulaire, with a mouthpiece and a mask, as well as with the PEP manometer. At the end of each section, you will be returned to this video menu. Numerous in vivo and in vitro studies done with the circulaire have demonstrated improved clinical outcomes and better performance than conventional aerosol delivery devices. In a 1996 study, Hess found that the VIX-1 nebulizer that is used on the Circular 2 delivers the greatest inhaled mass among 16 other commonly used small volume nebulizers. In 2007, Gartenheyer found that the performance of the VIX-1 small volume nebulizer is equivalent to the Aeroclips. In 2009, Dr. John Dennis of Celeromed Incorporated and one of the authors of the European Nebulizer Standards was retained to compare the Circular 2 against the Monaghan Aeroclips. In 2010, Mick Peck found that the Circular 2 outperformed the Aeroclips 2 by delivering equivalent or greater aerosol in half the time, 4 minutes versus 8 minutes. Gartenheyer compared Circular 2 to the Aeroclips 2 again in 2011. Conclusion? Circular 2 generated a larger delivered drug dose at all time intervals tested. Gartenheyer's data supports the previous data from McPeck and Solaramet. 
These and other studies, as well as a complete bibliography, are available in their entirety from WestMed upon request. Please feel free to contact WestMed at 800-975-7987 or through our website at www.westmedinc.com. This concludes Section 2 of this video presentation. You may now go on to Section 3 or choose another section from the video menu. At the end of each section, you will be returned to this menu. Section 3, User Training. Now we are going to observe how to set up and operate the Circular 2 High Efficiency Aerosol Drug Delivery System. Okay, hi Gabby, how are you? Good. Okay, my name is Mike, I'm your respiratory therapist, and I'm going to give you a treatment for the first time, and we're going to use a new device called the Circular. And what it does is it takes medication that the doctor has prescribed for your lungs and it turns it into a mist and you're going to breathe this in. You, you ready to take a try? Okay, you can help me here. Hold that for me and you can get used to it and look at it while you, while you have it in your hand. And I'm going to put your medication in the nebulizer. and I'll put that right there. Okay, now you hold that in your hand. Why don't you put your right hand on it? Okay, what I want you to do is put it in your mouth and I'm going to turn it on. And you keep your lips tightly around the mouthpiece. You're doing good. And just breathe in normally. Breath in. Okay, now I'm going to adjust this by turning the variable expiratory resistor a little bit to synchronize the bag with your breathing pattern. There you go. So every time you take a deep breath in, the medicine leaves the bag and goes into your lungs. Okay, just relax and breathe normally. Okay, your treatment is over. I'll turn it off and you can hand it to me. Thank you. How do you feel? Good. Hi, Autumn. My name is Mike. I'm your respiratory therapist. I'm going to do the first treatment for you or with you that the doctor prescribed for your asthma. Are you ready? Okay, and I know you've had treatments before, but this is a slightly different device. It's a different type of nebulizer that you may not have seen before. And uh, it works pretty much the same. You'll be breathing in and out of this just like you always do. But the reservoir bag will have some of the aerosol in it. And we'll be able to watch your breathing with the aerosol bag. So if you're ready, why don't you hold this for me a second. And I'm going to put the medication in your nebulizer. And we'll put the nebulizer on the circular. And what I'd like you to do here when we start, take your left hand and just plug up the mouthpiece and hold it there for a second while I turn it on. And I'm going to get the bag inflated. Okay, now put it in your mouth. You can take your fingers away and just start to breathe normally. Just in and out slowly. Okay, now she's collapsing the bag all the way on inspiration. So what I'm going to do now is give her a little positive expiratory pressure, which will help keep the bag from totally collapsing. Okay, so you just need to breathe normal. And within a couple of breathing cycles, we have a nice rhythm going where the bag is staying slightly open at the end of a breath and that's exactly what we want. Okay, we've reached four minutes and that's the amount of time it, uh, it requires to give you the medication that your doctor ordered. So I'll turn this off and you can take this out of your mouth now. There you go. All right, how are you feeling? Good. Good, thank you very much. Hi Autumn, I'm Mike, I'm your respiratory therapist. I gave you a treatment earlier today. 
What we're going to do this time is something a little bit different. I have something here called positive expiratory pressure, and your doctor wants us to use this on you to help keep your lungs open while you're getting the treatment. So uh, I want you to hold that for me, and I'm going to take your old expiratory resistor off and set it aside, and I'm going to take this out of the package and put it on in its place, just like that. Okay, and then when you're taking the treatment, you'll be able to look at the red pointer inside this tube, and it'll tell you how much pressure you're generating during exhalation, okay? And then I'm going to do one other thing, and I'm going to put a nose clip on your nose when you do the treatment, so that you breathe out only through your mouth and not through your nose. You're okay with that? Okay, let me stick the nose clip on you first so you can get used to it. Okay, it feels a little funny and it's a little bit tight, and it makes you breathe through your mouth, right? Okay, now I'm going to turn your nebulizer on. Okay, I want you to start taking your treatment. Now I'm going to turn the expiratory resistor all the way to the smallest opening. Okay, now I want you to look at me, and you can do this along with me. When I tell you to, what I'm going to have you do is take a deep breath all the way in, and then I want you to blow out slowly and hold it and hold it and hold it, and keep the red dial at one value as long as you can. You ready to do that? All right, deep breath all the way in. In, okay, now blow, blow, blow hard and keep, keep the dial, keep the dial for another second or two and then you can breathe normally. Okay, very good. Take a few normal breaths. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. Alright, take a deep breath all the way in when you're ready. In, in, in. Now blow out, blow out, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, keep the dial right there, right there. Okay, very good. Hi, Adam. I'm Mike. I'm your respiratory therapist. We're going to do another treatment with you like we did earlier today, but this time instead of the mouthpiece, I want to try it with a face mask. Is that all right with you? Okay. Here, take that mouthpiece off. You can just hold that, just put that down on the side here. Hold that for me, and or actually hold that for me instead. Now you can hold that. I'm going to put your medication in the nebulizer. Okay, and I'll put it on the circular. Okay, and now we want to take the new mask out of the bag, and I'm going to rotate this elbow so it points like this, and I'll put that on there. And now you should be able to take your treatment through the mask. You ready to try? Okay, I'm going to turn on the gas flow right now. And I'll put the strap around your head. Okay, now let's... Okay, that's good. Now you got the hang of it right away. Just breathe normally like you did before. Okay, I'm going to adjust your expiratory resistor a little bit. I'm going to turn it down to a slightly smaller opening. Okay, there we go. You see what that does? That makes sure the bag has a little bit in it at the end of a breath. And then the bag inflates again while you're exhaling. And then there's plenty of medicine for you to draw from when you take a breath in again. All right, Autumn, we've um, got to four minutes now, and it's time to stop the treatment. You get the right amount of medication in four minutes, so I'm going to turn this off, and we can take the mask off now that the treatment is over. Now, try not to mess up your hair. Okay, there we go. How'd that feel? Okay, you did a good job. Thank you.